I really think Think Before You Ink are just delusional. My daughter could draw better than this. And she's five. Our canvas passed out. What's your excuse? For your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> Let's bring him in. Oh, Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Holy oh. I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, oh, oh. Get the out of here. Are you serious? A hawk? Really? You better keep that thing on a leash. Oh. Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, don't be moving. Whoa, whoa. Gators, seen plenty of them. Don't want to get near them and draw them. You will have six hours to tattoo in any style you choose. And your canvases are completely open. But you must use one of these animals and no other reference. Only using live reference? It's so unpredictable. You can't draw what you see if it's moving constantly. Drawing is everything in this competition. Today, I'm hoping that somebody can actually draw from life and show me details. Because you're cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I can do that. The hardest part about tattooing when you are a team and you're tagging in and out every hour is who's micromanaging? No, no, just bring it up right there. Who's backseat driving? Who's in control? Go a little bit in, right there. They're going to have to be on the same page to come up with a drawing that they can both execute. Right, Michael, I believe it's in your hands. Let the fun begin. I mean, you're another reference. I don't want you to go past what we've drawn. I'm really aiming to show the judges that we have a better concept over everybody else's. I mean, I don't want to like waste time just like not doing anything. I mean, well, it's better to not do anything than to do what doesn't need to be done. For the most part, I do black and gray, but at the end of the day, I want to do whatever technique works best to tell my client's story. Come on, let me run you this new script real quick. Dave is changing the sketch. Why are you doing that? We had a plan. Let's stick to it. Well, it was never finished, so. People doubt me because I'm a young black female. I don't have that many years of experience, but I'm here to prove everybody wrong. Just let people know, like, hey, we can do the too. Two more hours to go. Switch artists. Crunch time, buddy. Bro, I did not expect to see, like, live animals walking in. No, dude, that was the last <laughs> thing I expected. <laughs> I've been tattooing 17 years. I am known for the realistic black and gray, high contrast photorealism style. Think you got it? I do. Mike's my boss. He owns the shop, so there's a lot on the line. I have been tattooing approximately five and a half years. My style is illustrative, bold, bright, colorful. What I'm weak in, he excels in. We're a perfect match. There is no reason we can't win this. Absolutely. You killing a brother? Thank Proud you. of you, huh? We're a big family. This is my brother for another mother. Yep. Probably a bit more black right in that area, just to push it. At the end of the day, I want to show my family that here in the United States, you can make your dreams come true. We're here to win it. This is a good tattoo. This is the best snake out there. Five, four, three, Two, one, that is it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Very, very confident, for sure. That's awesome. Tri-Cities and thicker than blood. Should be worried about going home today. John and Bobby's tattoo looks like a weird space worm. And Tri-Cities tattoo just looks like just a tube with a head. It's just bad in a different way. Definitely one of a kind. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Let's see how you did. Thicker than blood. This, to me, doesn't look like the snake that came in. For me, it looked like a snake, and everybody else here knows it. Look at the top line of the head. Look how it goes across all the way to the back of the body. See that hard line you put in? So you just took that thing's head, and you just took its body, and you went <laughs> broke it there. So it's already got a snap spine. It's completely anatomically impossible. You're not showing us that you can draw from life. Tri-Cities Tattoo.
The big question is what's going on with this in and out of the skin thing? The snake is sitting on top of sand. Part of it is going in sand and part of it's going out of the sand. To me, it doesn't look like it's going in and out of anything. It just looks like it stops and starts. We drew exactly a boa constriction. That's what the challenge was, to draw from the reference. You're drawing from life. You're putting in the details from life to show that you can draw what you see. This does not convince me of that. The Marked Society. What was your plan of attack here? To figure out how to incorporate both our styles. I normally do a more of a realistic style. And I actually yeah, I drew all the frame and then the little medallion. This is the farthest from a realistic alligator ever. What you guys needed is the details in the body. You miss those textures and you miss the length of the snout. One of the two of you got to be able to see that something's off. We try not to step on each other's toes by doing that. For a team to win here, you're going to have to dance on each other's toes. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Tri-Cities, as much as it has nothing that I want to see, still looks like what it's supposed to be. So would you guys say Tri-Cities is safe? I would. So now we're looking between Mark Society and Thicker Than Blood. We didn't make the challenge, but we show a lot of potential in that tattoo. As far as drawing, these guys' snake is questionable, your guys' gator's questionable. So now we got to get down to tattooing. Application versus application, there's a clear victor. Thicker Than Blood. My vote is also for Thicker Than Blood. Thicker Than Blood, the judges have decided do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys got a lot of heart being here, man. Keep going, learn, and grow from it. Please pack your machines and move out. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo. If your fundamentals aren't right, your shop will be packing. And your time starts now. You want to figure out how the hell we're going to do this area? The ear? She wants a full body tiger caught by the toe with the back foot stretched out, crawling down her leg. And that's what we're giving her. Tip of is black. I just don't know exactly how we want to achieve that. I think our friendship has a lot to do with how well we can perform. I want to break the lines where, like, the black is going to go, you know? He can read me, and I can read him. You know, when he's upset, I can tell. Mike is my Thanks best friend. Too. Thanks, dude. We've been through a lot of <laughs> family. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mikey. You have four hours remaining, and switch artists. Just basically double up that top thumb line. And I'm going to go over a lot of these. Just don't change nothing. I'm not used to anybody telling me, don't do this or don't do that. Nice. Beautiful. It's kind of hard to step back and let someone else take the reins, but I'm doing it because I'm doing whatever it takes to win this thing. This is your final hour. One more hour remaining. Switch again. Yours is looking perfect. It's going to get a lot cooler. Some tricks in store. I see DJ is using a mag. I'm shocked straight off the bat. DJ is using a magnum. Is he? Just pushing it like a liner, but it's still not the same as lining. A lining needle is a group of needles that are tightly put together like this. A mag are needles that are put in between each other and make this shape. So he's using a mag to essentially emulate like five Single line needles? Yeah. That's kind of weak, dude. Being allowed to use a mag in this challenge would mean that you could do multiple tiny lines that are perfectly spaced with much less work than pulling individual lines. This is not cool. Pulling lines with a mag? Who the f These artists might be a little jealous they didn't think of this trick first. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. It's better in the mirror. Holy crap. So dope, dude. It looks shaded. That was the whole point. Old Tom, guess what? You cheated. You used a mat. You're going to the bottom. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals. Bubba. This challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Old Town Inc., you're up first. Baba, how's it being back? I feel like I've been preparing to come back here since I left. I'm ready for it. 
This is a very clean, very legible, very strong illustration. Technically, the lines look clean. The varying line weights are used smartly, and from a distance, you do create shading with using only small lines. Little reactions over there. What's going on? They used the mag. I mean, I would have used the mag, too, if yeah. I could have. We all yeah. would have. You guys just didn't think about it. You guys are mad because you didn't think about it. No, we did. did. We followed the rules, though. We followed the did rules, you? too. Dragging the mag. I mean, it is a way to make lines. I think it's smart. It is lines. Every single spot. Yeah, but the same effect that they did with the mag, I, I went through and I did it with a single needle. A lot of us did. This is a game. And if you're smarter than your opponent, oh well. I will tell you this, I'm pretty sure that these guys aren't going home. Tri-Cities Tattoo. Design-wise, it does have nice flow to it, but it just didn't follow through. There's a lot of line work difficulties in this tattoo. These arc lines that go down the tentacles, very inconsistent, and also some of the coral looks very similar to the tentacles of the octopus. Today is about pulling one line. I just don't feel like your guys' quality is living up to the rest of the rooms. The Mark Society. This tiger is crazy. If you take the head out of the equation, this thing looks like a lizard with some broken body parts. Where is the tiger's right shoulder? How does that come off his spine right there? Anatomy has proven to be a big issue. You've got some clean lines, but you didn't really capture the look of this challenge. You just crosshatch haphazardly. There's one tooth missing. Oh, you crosshatched over it. Devil's in the details. That stuff all exposes you guys heavily. Today, you had to tattoo illustrative black work. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Guys, why did you vote Old Town Inc. to the bottom? You better play by the rules or you're in the bottom. Wow. OK, let's get into Tri-Cities Tattoo. You did come a little bit stronger with the design, but it's pretty clear this is a bottom tattoo. The purpose of this challenge was to create a tattoo showing depth through line work. We created depth. We have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. But you have a lot of sloppy line work here. Lines are crossing over, lines are mismatching. But there are examples of some solid line work also. You ain't pulled a clean line since you've been here. I'm going to eat the out of your tattoo, Yeah, bro. eat it up. The Mark Society. The bulk of your disability in this tattoo is the design. It's been a hell of a week, you know, dealing with personal problems and just trying to get in a groove. The biggest thing that would make it hard for me to see you guys be in Master Shop is the fact that this tiger is so far off, it's odd. But we created that. They have a flat image. At least with what our tattoo, you can yours? tell. Yeah. Let me, can yours I finish talking? Yeah. I feel like with ours, you can at least tell what it is. Our drawing was flawless. We didn't stumble on the anatomy. Just because I didn't call the y'all to push out for anatomy doesn't mean it's anatomically yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. It is time to determine who's going home. I mean, I know the tiger is jacked. I know the octopus looks more like an octopus. And for Mark Society, they do have some cleaner lines. Chris. Mark Society. My vote is also Mark Society. The judges have decided. The Mark Society. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Your outline and your drawing are the framework for everything that goes in them. So if you can't get those things together in this competition, then I think rightfully you guys are in the right place. Please pack your machines and move out. You have six hours to tattoo a natural disaster. And your time starts now. OK. And here we go. That works for you? Yeah. I decide to just go for it. I'm giving my canvas everything he's asking for. Here's a drawing. Here's a skin break Thank reference. You. We got cars floating in the water. We got some rocks. We got some boardwalks. We got some palm trees. There's no tattoo with more detail in ours. Time to get busy. I believe Maid Rich knows what the judges want more than me. Make sure to leave a little skin break off the car. Got it. And, and the, the flagpole. flagpole. <laughs> I trust your judgment. Let's go. Three hours remaining. Switch artists. Tear it up, Bubba. So this is what we're going to do here. Put your machine down for a second. Dave doesn't need to take the lead all the time. I just took the lead on the flash challenge. And look how good we did. Dave, you're going to keep switching stuff up last minute. Yeah, we got to make the script perfect. Two hours to go. Switch artists. Did you see Carlos in there? Yeah. It's massive. It's what they do all day, though, every day. Black Anchor is a world-class shop, and it is known the world over for having really great realism artists. How are you guys doing? 
I'm gonna have to jam on it. <sighs> I'm confused at this point that I am even in an alliance in this competition. I think they gave us the harder one maybe to try and knock us down a little bit. I'm biting my lip off right now. Honestly, I feel like we could really shine. I just hope that time is on our side. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Dunzo. That's awesome. Hell yeah. It's too big, dude. It looks smaller when you put stencil on, but then you forget about all the color around the outside. Today, every detail counts. Made rich, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. So let's see how you did. Think before you ink, you're up first. What you have here is a strong design that doesn't really translate in the tattoo as well as it did on paper. But you do have clean line work. You do have smooth shading. Your application and your tattooing, nice. The actual imagery, lost. You have the exact same tonal shading in the water that you do in the car. It's all camouflage. So you did all that nice tattooing and all that hard work not to shine. Tri-Cities Tattoo. First of all, you can definitely tell what's going on. Definitely see tornado, definitely see the graveyard at the bottom. One detail that stands out is this little gate that's flying up in the air. This thing looks like the kind of gate, it's like two pieces and it opens, but somehow when it flew in the air, both pieces just stayed perfectly together and they're flying. It seems a little weird to me. The details you have in the bottom of the tombstones, I think you have some questionable line work. Technically, this tattoo is pretty challenged. Black anchor. The perimeter shape is just an obtrusive big smear on the side of his body. You gotta leave some open skin. It's like everywhere you look in this tattoo is a cover up. The only contrast you have is from the areas of solid color to the areas of light color you did. As far as details go, there's no detail. This is one of the rougher tattoos I've seen here. Today, you tattooed scenes depicting natural disasters. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Think Before You Ink to the bottom? One we could tell was a volcano when you look at it, and this, you can't really decipher what it is right off the bat. Today is a crazy day. You guys say the worst tattoo is not Black Anchor. As far as details, we were trying to compare the problems in each tattoo, and so we felt like- So you think the details in Think Before You Ink are not as detailed as that volcano? I mean, look at the Ferris wheel. It was a yes and no question, Chan. I feel like ours is a little bit more recognizable. Yeah, I didn't have any detail in that tattoo. It's a little bit more dynamic than yours. Dynamic. It wasn't dynamic day. It was detail day. Black Anchor. This is a large, unappealing spot on this guy's body. Detail could easily be added to that. Back at the shop, we do multiple settings, and I know that's not this the case back this at time. The shop. We're judging on today, and today it's just this blocked out mass with no detail on detailed day. But if we did get another shot, pick ourselves out of this slump, you know, this is their third, third time. time. And you guys keep throwing that around, like, so what if we've been down here before? At the end of the day, we're looking at it now, like they said. Tri-Cities. Compared to the other people in the room did small details, you're outshined. I just don't think our tattoo, when you look at it, it's not questionable as much as these two tattoos. It's the one that's the clearest to me of the three. But are we not judging on the worst tattoo of the day, period? Because that's what I thought I was here to do. We do need to make a final decision. I'm going to keep it 100% honest. I think Black Anchor did the worst tattoo of the day. My vote's for Black Anchor. Judges have decided, Black Anchor, you do not have what it takes to be master shop. It's a bummer, man. If I was picking teams, I would have had you guys first pick. But on any day, worst tattoo goes. Doesn't matter what you've done. Please pack your machines and move out. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo two cherubs on a single canvas. And your time starts now. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Today, these tattooers are going to tattoo on their own, but they have to look like one artist did them. I think a little bit of texture in the front would be cool. Perfect. It is incredibly easy to mess up cherub tattoos. The technical application has to be spot on. Gray wash outline everything. I'm just going to bag it, gray line it. Hey, if you feel comfortable with it. So many things anatomically can go wrong here. How's the monkey? How's the monkey? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I need you to just make sure that everything over here is straight. I am stressed out to no end. The stencil keeps wiping off. I'm so far behind, I'm literally melting down. Take a Sharpie and do like a loose indication of the line. I don't have a clue how this is gonna work out if I've gotta draw on every line before I do it. Give it one more go, I suppose. I think I can face it with the shade in, but like, I had to stop. Let me see you uh, hit one of the other ones. Dave's style is totally different from mine. Like, just make sure you just keep the skin tight and it doesn't need like too much pressure. Our communication is really working. We're checking out each other's tattoo. He's giving me advice. This is the best that we've ever been working together as a team. What's up, man? Nothing. I told myself I was going to make your life live in hell because you me, but I'll leave it alone. Tri-Cities, what is your motive in this game you're playing? You're Aggie. You're kind of close right <laughs> you're now. You're Aggie as <laughs> bro. Like I talk a lot, but I got the skills to back it up. You showed your colors, Dave. I'm the vet. They could have had a friend in this house. People are always thinking I'm starting. I don't be starting. I don't be saying He's annoying as Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All righty. Yo, those are so sick, man. <laughs> Made Rich talks so much, but he can't back it up with being able to tattoo. Your tattoo looks like a toy sleeping on cabbage. God, do I want Made Rich and Think Before You Ink to go home. Today, you had to prove your technical application was flawless. Tri-Cities Tattoo. Looking at both the tattoos, it looks like one person did it because both of you have incredibly hard times outlining. Bang the back of your inside leg, and that huge, crazy line you tried to clean up, you have to do it in one pass. Dave, your outline is very blown out. The skull, in the hand, and then the hair. This collarbone area is just a really tough area. Think before you ink. Well, guys, there's an obvious divide here. Rich, your tattoo's a lot smoother. You have a lot cleaner outline and a lot smoother shading. Your tattoo quality definitely progressed from when you were here. Thank you. The tat yours shows a big variance from Rich's as far as application goes. You have a lot of shaky lines. The tips of the fingers are blacker than the line coming down. There is a way to pull a really clean line, and you're missing it on this. Allegory Arts. I do love the illustration. The way they work together as a design is great. Getting right into the rough side of it, both outlines, really rough. Euless, your side, that back leg, those ripples and wobbles and the nervousness of those lines make the leg pretty misshapen. Eva's outline looks a little heavier and bolder, but also has quite a few areas of blowouts around the top. Yeah, that skin can be really tricky. Today, you tattooed black and gray cherubs testing your technical application. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Time to hear from the jury of peers. Guys, why did you vote think before you ink to the bottom? Someone want to speak? I feel like d -tat Star's application was very chunky. Yeah, but both of y'all didn't do a great tattoo. d -tat, your tattoo, is one of the bottom tattoos of the day. The shading is not smooth like Rich's is. It's a pretty large gap. I think the flaws that we have in our tattoos are very minimal compared to the other two. Blowouts live on the bottom. Period, no matter who you are. There was a lot more blowouts in those tattoos. No, there's not. You can see a blowout in the top of D Tat Star's halo. Get the hell out of and here. And it's filled with solid black around. Y'all got two bad tattoos. Honestly, guys, I don't find these two tattoos amazing. Y'all were less challenged in the design, but technically, you jacked them up. No one's brought up Tri Cities tattoo. Tri Cities has equal amount of blowouts. Bang's legs almost connect on a blowout. There's blue bruising. Do you guys not see that? I see it now. You've already had previous critiques on other tattoos about technical application. Today was the day to really hone in on it and not show us those mistakes. We got caught up trying to like match our tattoo aesthetically, and that ended up being why I had those blowout issues. Time to determine who's going home. The most appealing imagery is allegory arts. The more consistent application between two artists also is allegory arts. In my mind, allegory is safe from going home. You guys aren't going anywhere. Thank you, guys. The best single application out of all four of these tattoos is made rich. Rich is just better than DTAPs, but then if you go to Tri-Cities, there's application problems on both sides of the fence. No-brainer for me. 
Tri-Cities Tattoo. My vote's for Tri-Cities Tattoo. The judges have decided. Tri-Cities Tattoo. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Exposing yourself in this environment is tough. You guys are just at a phase where you need to grow more, and then, who knows, maybe y'all will be back. Please pack your machines and move out. You have six hours to tattoo. If you fail, for you, this battle is over. And your time starts now. Let's get this thing started. We're testing composition by giving these artists color realistic battle scenes. Now this is kind of what we're thinking. It's beautiful. Cool, yay, awesome. There's many different elements that are occurring at once. There's movement, you have flesh, you have cloth, there's a foreground, and you have a background. And that all takes composition to execute. Hit the contour that you showed me. Don't even come in on the nose. Don't come in on the mouth. Just do the outside of the face. Got it. I am going to take my man D tat up off the bench. I'm making sure that we work on this tattoo as a complete 50-50 team. Just so knock out the nine on this one, and then just move to the next one. Cool. I don't want to hear from nobody. I can do this, and that's that. We've been in this bottom too many times. Made wish is not meant for the bottom. This has to be our week. This is your final hour. One hour left. I thought you said you wanted to soften up the top. Um, it's pretty soft as it is. I want the top to look a little more even with the bottom. The only battle in this situation is our canvas battling with us. I'm just not seeing your background, and I'm, I'm not picturing it on the tattoo, and I'm worried that it's going to not look good. Yeah, but as artists, we like to give you something that we see as well as a collaboration together. But oh. it's my tattoo, so give me give me a minute. OK. Now I'm in freaking panic mode. Just go. We're trying to give her best tattoo, and she's second guessing everything we're doing. This is crazy. So when you do the cuffs, these cuffs are leather. Not the skin, but it's the same brown tone right now. OK. Our goal to make this tattoo stand out is to plan a good foreground, a battle scene in the middle, and then a nice background to accent it. My only nervous thought is, did we go too big? Guys, we're going to sub for a minute. Getting lightheaded. Breathe nice and slow. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Try some of this. The sugar in your system is going to help. Here. You passed out. Pass out. Hey. With this? Tim. Tim. This color's coming back with the right. Tim, you awake? Oh. There you go, buddy. It's all right, man. It's all right. Just need some sugar or something. Get the chair up. Get the feet up. Are you kidding me? I do not want to go home in an unfinished tattoo. It's a little breath, man. You'll be all right. Welcome back. So I want you to do what you want to do with the dress. OK. And um, I'm not going to do the background. OK. I feel like a lot of this comes down to this girl not being able to sit for a six-hour tattoo. Jess, do you want me to get in, or you go? I just, I think you tattoo a little more gently. No if worries. You're good. Yeah, that's fine. This girl's insane. Absolutely. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Okay. Oh, my God. I would have loved to be able to do a lot more to it. We killed this challenge, man. Most of these other people, they ain't even finished. I mean, hopefully we get to stick around. <laughs> I, 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 that was, like, so relieving. I feel like this competition just started. I really think Think Before Your Ink are just delusional. My daughter could draw better than this. And she's five. Our canvas passed out. What's your excuse? Today, you had to create battle scenes with clear composition, pins and needles. Was there a conflict when you got going with this canvas? Oh my she God. didn't want to trust us on any aspect. Aside from it not looking like a battle scene, and aside from the problems with the canvas and blah, 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 you drew those hands. Those hands are jacked. And you put that on somebody. I would have quit, too. You win your client over in the beginning, and you make them shut up by impressing them with a beautiful drawing. Your art speaks louder than anything. Artwork, first and foremost. That's how you get the title. Classic Trilogy Tattoo. 
what's missing from this? There's a rock face that rides the ridge line, and the clouds in the sky were gonna be like a washed out blue. A lot of time spent in that green. It looks like a battle scene that has the same color green in the hatchet blades that it does in the background, with a little darker shade than that in the loincloth, and a muddier shade than that in the pants. Yeah, that came into my mind shortly after putting the grass in. You guys went nuts in this thing. Drastically underfinished tattoo, and the 20 minutes that he has passed out is not the reason. Think before you ink. As far as composition goes, you got one guy going one way, one guy going the other, and a bunch of scribbly stuff in the background. The shape of the swords look like a feather fight. Those are the shapes that the gladiators had, though. I got you, but the way yours look, look like they're bending like, I'll hit you back. It looks playful. The guy on the left is wearing a Spartan helmet. What helmet is the guy on the right wearing? Samurai! We wanted them to be different. Well, they're different, different continents. As far as doing anything real, the hand's not real, the arm's not real, so you're not competing. Today, you had to prove that you've mastered composition. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Think Before You Ink to the bottom? I feel like the majority just picked the tattoo that we found the least appealing. Yet again, yet again. Do you feel that that's a personal thing? Of course. It's just fundamentally, man. The color doesn't mean a line. Could you call yourself Ink Master doing that? I'm good with the piece. It's just serious me. It is serious and I'm seriously standing by my piece. There's technical problems throughout. The line work has problems. The black shading has problems all over the place. But I do know there's two guys that are about to have a feather fight. I know what's happening. But what's realistic about that? Nothing's realistic. Of the three, it's the least realistic. Oh, no. What's realistic about the girls? Well, first of all, there is anatomy that is proportionate. Where? She has no right shoulder. She's a shoulderless woman. We have decent anatomy on ours. I just can't see it. That green, when you go into it with some highlights or some tones, like you but were guys, saying. guys, that is not the technique that's going to finish a one sitting tattoo in six hours. Oh, we've that we've learned canvas. that. We're not disagreeing whatsoever. No. We have three challenge tattoos here. The problem I have is if somebody cruises in the middle of your work, that's the ultimate slap in the face. It's really difficult, man, because pins and needles didn't really do much of a battle, nor is it finished. But overall, the tattoo looks cleaner. I'm going with Think Before You Ink. The judges have decided. Think Before You Ink. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's go. Let's do it. This week, the tattooers are being judged on artistry. Freehanding is something that I want to know that an ink master is going to be able to do. Drawing straight on the skin, going directly to your outline with your machine. No stencils. I'll be done when the time starts, I promise. You shush. Did you say that? He's killing me right now. The person who's drawing has to quarterback the tattoo throughout because they see the vision, and they have to translate that to the person that's inking it. Anytime you do something I don't like, I'm going to go <sighs> for this challenge. We decided it's best if I just walk away and let Lalo do his thing. Sometimes we don't work very good when we're sitting over each other's shoulder. Do us proud, Lalo. Don't worry your pretty little head. I got it. Please don't screw this up for us. You ready to do this? Not there, but on the tip, yes. I have to work off Derek's freehand, but I'm only taking it as a loose interpretation. I'm going to do my own thing. It should probably be a little bit peeking out, because there's a shadow. You know what I mean? A little black there. Uh, not there. That's all plumb. What are you doing, Tom? I give you a straightforward, traditional piece to follow. But you're not following the game plan, and you're going right back to the style we're getting called out for. This one here is not black. So we need, no, that'll be green. Yeah, you're right. You got so. Yeah. You want to take a look? He is going crazy. That color palette makes no sense whatsoever. Don't be nervous. It's a good day at House of Monkey. We were supposed to have a nice amount of black and a simple color palette. We didn't need all this blue. Lalo, you had one job. The colors, man. Final hour remaining, guys. One final hour. Bring a little bit of purple up in here in these corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth that blend out. Oh, yes, just stop. Tap it with water. Just whip out. Don't go circular. 
I don't have time to finesse. I'm the one doing the tattoo. I got to move on this now. I don't want to stick to the technique that I'm used to. I know it starts from the drone. If he had simplified it, I wouldn't even be in this situation. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yay! What do you think, Marvin? You, you into you got it? it? Yeah. <laughs> Looks awesome. Like it? Stop. Yeah, man. How did it feel for you? Feel good? I did a big ass tattoo, perfect lines. What did you and you like? No, no, no. It's, I would have, there's huh? a couple things I would have did different. But, I mean, of course. You know, be in the driver's seat. Today, you had to prove your artistry. Black Spade tattoo, ES Drew, and Rough You tattoo. The amount of phoenixes that we have seen that actually look like phoenixes are very few. So I like the drawing a lot. The drawing is very solid. I like the idea of the negative flames coming up. But if we zoom into the bottom, this right here is very rough. You can still see your scratchy wash outlines. The color blends between one color to the next. It's not smooth. This quality of work is not going to last. I can tell you that right now. House of Monkey. Picasso did the drawing and Lalo tattooed. I like the drawing a lot, but my only problem with the tattooing is the colors. The problem with this tattoo is this big, scratchy baby blue bubble on the top and this light green that's not finished in these cactus. It's not solid, it's not smooth, it's just a lot of sloppiness. Classic trilogy tattoo. Derek drew. Tom tattoo. The black dahlia flower really muddies up this whole piece. I don't think it's her fault for choosing a black dahlia. I think it's your fault for the way you colored it. It's a lot of solid saturation, but you have basically paint by numbers feel to it. You guys need to now break out and show off something because everybody today did a good tattoo and somebody's going home. Today, you had to freehand directly onto the skin with no stencils. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Black Spade tattooed at the bottom? A lot of the fundamental technical issues were called out. And we felt that House of Monkey had a stronger overall design than Black Spade did. All we needed was a few more things to make this crispy and complete. I think that what they made might have been more of a mess than what you're seeing here. It's a tough debate. I feel like House of Monkeys, it's a strong line drawing, but there's just a lot of peach, a lot of baby blue, none of which is really applied very well. Was Classic Trilogy in the vote? We didn't even talk about Classic Trilogy's tattoo, actually. These guys are doing the same static thing. We wanted to make a complete tattoo, but time-wise and all that, this definitely could have been more dynamic. The one a word y'all need to add is versatility. Either <laughs> or get off the pot, because what's coming over the next few weeks is going to knock you guys out of the box. So basically, we're between Black Spade and House of Monkey. When I see the phoenix from a distance, it's very clear what it is, and the color theory is nice. But when I look at the cow skull, the color theory is all over the place. Color theory can be fixed. Cool. But you have blue behind the tattoo, and it's not solid. That's easily fixed. How is that going to be fixed? To fix that blue background, you got to make it bigger. The challenge is artistry, and we're damn near closer to it than they are. They can see our tattoo from far away. If you pour a whole, whole thing of orange on someone, you're going to see it. That's why vest and road signs are that color, dude. <laughs> You're out of control. I mean, I'm not going. <laughs> it is true, dude. That's the sexiest part of a woman. She and you loved ruined it. it. She loved it. What was that? I'm sorry. Bless you. You sneezed. All right, it is time to determine who is going home. You know, it's tricky. I admire the artistry in House of Monkey, but the color play within Black Spade is more pleasing. My vote is for House of Monkey as well. House of Monkey. The judges have decided. House of Monkey, you do not have what it takes to be master shop. I respect you coming back, trying to make it, but for you guys, as artistic and free as you are, this place is too restrictive. Please pack your machines and move out. Artists, you have six hours to show your ingenuity by tattooing a new school design. And your time begins now. 
Go time. Let's do it. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles of new school. Like that? Just a little bit more. Boom. These artists are going to have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. All right, you ready? Hey, April. I think that background's too much. This competition is so stressful, I'm cracking. I just want to get our straight. Don't be mad. Did you put the blue everywhere you wanted it to go, or no? No, not everywhere. Do you want to tell me where? When Dane's stressed out, he just needs to like get away so that I can actually concentrate on the tattoo and not concentrate on what's going on in his brain. If you want to do something to this, you have to show me, because I, don't, I can't get inside your head. I don't know what you're talking about. Got a worried face looking, though. You worried? No, I'm just watching. ES is moving too slow. Once again, I'm worried that we're going to run out of time. This corner right here. Yeah, I'm going to come in with the white. It's really not that hard. It's a cupcake and three blueberries. I wanted to put uh, like more of a, a, a fleshy pink in there to do some of the caps of the ears. I, I don't have a clue of what the I'm doing. Just kind of do what you feel like you need to do. Not only does Hobo not do new school, Hobo doesn't do color. It's a lot of pressure on him to finish this tattoo. Sure, you know what you're doing. I'm losing confidence as I'm doing it and making the wrong palette choices. Man, we're crumbling bad. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Woohoo! Finished. Dude, that looks phenomenal. You got through it, dude. I told you I get through it. Yeah, man. <laughs> that is some badass tattoo. I like your part of it. I'm not really a huge fan of the other two cats around it. Yeah. We great. Today you had to prove your ingenuity. Black spade tattoo. Love the drawing. Love the color palette choices. I love everything but the way you tattooed it. There is not a spot on this thing that is solid. The background, burgundy is not solid. Orange isn't solid. You put all the right stuff and set yourself up for another W. You didn't pull through. Artistic skin design. Well, guys, I don't think it's the best drawing. If we look at the hand that's playing guitar, no way, no how do any of those fingers make any sense. And the thumb coming from behind the guitar is crazy. Not a fan of this tattoo. This blue force field is rough. It's just a sea of washed out color. This tattoo looks 20 years old. You guys have done bright, strong tattoos that look like stickers. This one does not. Bone face ink. The drawing is super challenged. These are just two heads growing out of this little body. This little green guy on the left is totally Jack, man. One eye is round and outside of the bottom of the eyelid, and the other eye is squared off and tucked in inside the eyelid. The finished product has a very amateur feel to it. It doesn't have the look of what we know Boneface's finished tattoos to look like. Today, you had to show ingenuity by tattooing New School. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Time to check what the jury appears. Why did you put Boneface Ink in the bottom? This one was pretty apparent. You know, they, they thought it was the worst one. We kind of all did, too. It was unanimous? Almost. Tom? I voted for Black Spade. The tattoo application was a little worse than this to me. I will say that Black Spade had the perfect canvas, the perfect drawing, and it still led to a bad tattoo. I don't agree. There were some saturation issues, but the lines are good. If you can't see that the lines aren't good, then you might not need to be here either. I don't feel like our lines were bad. Our tattoo is dope. Technical application is the number one most important thing every single goddamn challenge, and this is Jack. Scratchy lines, scribbly everywhere, nothing is smooth. You did mention drawing is going to be a strong yes. thing here. I get it, man, but with solid application, you are fighting them to the win. You get that? Of course. The artistic skin design piece. The problem for me is the contrast in this thing. It's hard to read. I personally don't think that our tattoo would need that much help. If you want it to be anatomically correct, you need a laser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that our tattoo is that bad that you need to laser it off. I understand that there's... You don't understand if you're yes, even I do. saying anything. I understand anything. that there's anatomical errors. I feel very insulted when you say that you want to laser our tattoo off. You could be as insulted as you want. I didn't do the tattoo you did. You're only fighting yourself. All right, time to determine who's going home. 
for me, Black Spade is readable. It's a new school design. My vote is for Boneface Inc. Boneface Inc. The judges have decided, Boneface Inc. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out.